Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Martin, or Ozzy Comic Book Collector. What I do on this channel is I show off four books from random and I end on a key issue. If you want to find me on other social media, I'm on Instagram and threads at HannibalKing2099. Um, and yeah, that's where you can find me. Uh, <laughs> um, but let's just kick on to the comics. I've got them here and I was looking at them um, before and yeah, I was... Uh, just really taken aback with these covers. There's just some really fun covers here. The first one being The Punisher, issue 97. And this was near the end of the series. This series went for like, I think, it was either 102 issues or 104 issues. Um, but yeah, uh, this is written by Chuck Dixon. And uh, when it says, uh, a startling new chapter in the life of The Punisher... Uh, what it means is that he branches out on his own without any real safety net. So uh, for a long part of this series, he had Micro uh, kind of as the uh, the voice of reason. Uh, and he just went, okay, I'm, I'm done with that. Uh, I'm just going to do what I want to do and do what I think is best. Um, and uh, it doesn't really end too well. But it's it's very violent. Uh, and uh, if, if you're a fan of uh, this kind of violence, then this is the uh, series for you. <laughs> But uh, yeah, there we go. So that's uh, Punisher 97. The next one is uh, Master of Kung Fu issue 79. And um, I don't exactly know who has done this cover. Wait a sec. Mike Zek. It's Mike Zek and Gene Day. It's it's written really smallly right next to the, uh, the barcode here. Uh, yeah, Mike Zek and uh, Gene Day. If I had known, uh, Mike Zek was uh, at a convention uh, here in Australia uh, earlier in the year, I would have taken this and get, got, asked him to sign it. Uh, not, not got him to sign it, but asked him to sign it. Mike Zek is just a really, really nice guy. Um, but he does like to talk, and his line got very busy uh, throughout the uh, convention. But, uh, yeah, I just really love this cover. Uh, it, it just shows um, Shang-Chi as... The, the master of kung fu that he is uh it's just it's it's simple but it's it's uh it's detailed it's uh it conveys a lot of emotion and uh yeah i i'm a fan of this uh, series the next one and i debated with whether they have this one as the last like the key issue but it's uh teenage mutant ninja turtles issue 57 it's part of the city of war uh, city at war uh storyline uh it's just a really fun cover in terms of uh, we have uh, the black uh, border and um, yeah we have uh, let's see who would this be this would be I, I don't want to say Raphael because I can't see what uh, weaponry he has geez I really don't know because I knew that uh, the turtles all had red bandanas uh, or red uh, red eye uh, masks uh, at this time um, so I just don't know but uh, it's a fun cover and also, we have uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, uh, Turtles in Time. Um, I remember seeing this at my local cinema uh, back in the day and didn't really think too much of it. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I was a young guy and, uh, yeah, I brought a, uh, brought a girl along to see it. And, uh, yeah, she was not impressed as well. <laughs> uh, fun times. Fun times. Uh, yeah, but uh, anyhow, uh, there we go. That's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue 57. And the the key the key issue for the video is Swamp Thing issue 150 uh, by Mark Millar and uh, Phil Hester, or Philip Hester, as he was going by at the time. Uh, I'm a fan of Phil Hester's artwork, uh, especially now. Uh, the more cartoony slash ink, dark ink uh, style that he has now. Uh, I think it works very well. He does a lot of uh, Green Arrow, and uh, when he, whenever Philip Hester is, is on Green Arrow, I am, uh, I mean, it's, it's an instant buy for me. But uh, yeah, this was from 1995, uh, and yeah, it's the key issue for the video. And uh, there we go. That is it for today. Please let me know what you think of the comments down below. Please like and subscribe if you wish to. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for sticking with me. I have a Halloween video that I'm going to film and I'm going to bring out on Thursday morning. So uh, a bit of fun. It's a, going to be a little bit different, but a little bit fun. So stick with me for that and I'll catch you then.